Morning Year 2 and welcome to another math session. In today's session we are going to be recapping word problems. Remember, when it comes to word problems, it's our job to work out what we need to do to solve that problem. Importantly, what operation we need to use to solve that problem. Do we need to use addition, subtraction, multiplication, division? Do we need to think about fractions? We have to read the question carefully and think about how we solve that problem. And if you remember, we use our rucksack model to help us work through our word problems. We need to read our word problems really, really carefully. We need to make sure, we need to understand what the word problem is asking us. And that means maybe reading it again. We need to choose, and this is a really important part, using mathematical vocabulary, we need to choose what operation we need to solve our word problem. We solve our word problem by working the answer out. So we think about what operation it is, we solve the problem and we get our answer and we check it as well. So when we're looking at word problems, we really need to think about what operation we need to solve our problem. Okay, let's look at the first question. 48 children are in the hall. Another 10 children come in. How many children are now in the hall all together? Let's read that again. 48 children are in the hall. Another 10 children come in. How many children are now in the hall all together? Okay, so I've read the question, I've thought about it. Now look at this word, all together. It's a mathematical word, isn't it? When I see the word all together, I know that means I need to add. I need to add my numbers together. So I look for my numbers, so there are 48 children, Another 10 children come in. How many children are now in the hall all together? So I will draw my add sign. And then I add my numbers. So I know 8 plus 0 is 8. 4 plus 1 is 5. Excellent. Well done. Okay, so we read the question carefully, think about the numbers, and then we need to show our working out. So there are now 58 children in the hall all together. Let's go on to the next question. I have 31 sweets. Ellie gives me 15 more. How many do I have now all together? So I have 31 sweets. Ellie gives me 15 more. How many do I have now all together? So again, let's look at the question carefully. Let's think. We've got, we can see the word all together. What does that mean? How much do I have in total? So what operation do you think I'm going to use? Good. I'm going to add. I'm going to add my numbers together. So I need to, need to use column addition to help me work this out. So 31 plus 15. So I, I'm going to add my numbers. 1 plus 5 is 6. 3 plus 1 is 4. So my answer is 46. Well done if you got that question correct. So the next few questions, I'm going to read out the question to you and I'm going to ask you to do it without my help. Remember, you can pause the video so you've got time to think about it. Think about what operation we need. We have looked at lots of mathematical vocabulary before and then, we're going to, and then I'm, going to work, I'm going to show you how to work it out. But remember, you can pause the video so you've got time to think about it and then work it out, okay? Next question, off you go. Harry has 72p. His mum gives him, gives him 16p. How much money does he have all together? Off you go. Are we ready? Okay. So Harry has 72p. His mum gives him 16p. How much money does he have all together? I hope you, I hope you used addition to solve this problem. So we need to add these numbers together. So 72 plus 16. So 2 plus 6 is 8, 7 plus 1 is 8. Am I finished there? What do I need to put at the end? Good, P. So he now has 88P altogether. Well done if you got that correct. Next one. Johnny eats three apples a day. How many does he eat in five days? Off you go. Are we ready? Let's have a look. Johnny eats three apples a day. How many does he eat in five days? So one day he eats three apples. How many 
does he have across five days? How do we work out the answer to that? Good, we multiply three times five. So three times five, and we all know five times seven, three times five is? Good, 15. Well done, if you got that answer correct. Let's go on to the next question. Alex has 16 sweets. He shares them between four children. How many sweets does each child get? Off you go. Are we ready? So Alex has 16 sweets and he shares them between four children. How many sweets does each child get? So when we see this word, we know we have to think about division. So 16 shared between four. So my number sentence is going to be 16 divided by four. So that's my number sentence, 16 divided by four. I now need to work this out. So I draw my four groups. And I need to share 16 between each group. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. How many does each child get? So I'm going to count how many there are in one group. One, two, three, four. So my answer is four. Well done, if you got that answer correct. Next question. Miss Gorn eats four bananas a day. How many does she eat in five days? So four bananas a day. How many does she eat in five days? Off you go. Are we ready? Let's have a look. So Miss Gorn eats four bananas a day. How many does she eat in five days? We know that's another multiplication question. So four multiplied by five. Again, we know our, four type, our five times tables. The answer is 20. Excellent. Well done if you got the answer correct. Okay. Next question. 45 children are in the hall. 10 children leave the hall. How many children are now in the hall? Off you go. Are we ready? So there are 45 children in the hall. If 10 leave, how many children are in the hall now? So I need to subtract to find the answer. So 45 take away 10. So 5 take away 0 is 5. 4 take away 1 is 3. So my answer is 35. Well done if you got that correct as well. I'm now going to leave you with three questions. And these are quite tricky questions. Okay, you can read through them really carefully, have a go, and don't forget to show your working out. And remember, you can go, you can go rewind this video and look for the slide that had our rucksack model, and that shows us how we work through our word problems. Okay, so good luck. And don't forget to share any home learning on our Year 2 Twitter page. Thank you for listening, Year 2. Bye-bye.